Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Aris, but Super and Char here. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how it's basically can, or or how you basically can get this fucking awesome theme I have right now uh, using on my desktop. So, yeah, as you can see, it just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, this is for Windows 8 only, I guess. Uh, I know you have this theme also for Windows 7, but you know, there is also a remake for Windows 8. So, this is a custom theme. As you can see, this Windows 8 very clear. Um, and yeah, you can basically uh, use whatever background you want. And uh, for example, if I want to change it, bring me to rise, I don't really know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like this. Um, there also comes, uh, normally there should come a start menu with it, um, or it should be in my downloads, uh, I don't know, I got somewhere start is back right here, that's start is back, that's this program, just install it, I uh, just did it. And it's amazing this theme, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna change my background again to where was it? Mm. Where the hell did I do? Oh, here. Okay, so I think this is a really awesome theme. Everything looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, let's get straight into this video uh, on how to basically get this. It's not hard at all, and I think it's worth it. Uh, one thing you should know before you download anything from this theme is you do not want to download um, the Aero Glass thing. Uh, this might fuck up your PC. It's just not compatible with my PC. Um, you just gotta check it out uh, with your PC. With your PCs, uh, but if it doesn't work on your PC and you install it, it will just fuck up your PC. So keep that in mind. Be really careful with that. So and here I got the team. So you will need. This is like the what's it called again? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, so you first gotta install the UX style step. So install that really quickly. And then you want to open up the ribbon disabler and just disable it. It will log off your PC and then just gotta log in again. After you have done your. Um, yeah, after you've disabled the ribbon disabler, uh, you just uh, this is basically the theme, this HUD evolution setup. Uh, that's the theme. I'll provide the link in the descriptions. No worries for that. Uh, as well as the ribbon disabler and this thing over here. Uh, this will be also in the descriptions, which is the arrow glass. Uh, yeah, it's basically all in one website, and you gotta keep in mind that you really have to know if your PC can run it or not. Otherwise, like I already said before, it will fuck up your PC, and you don't want to do that, of course. Anyway, so once you do have installed the Team Patcher or the UX style, I would recommend the UX style, just I don't know why it's easier to install. Also, when you've installed this UX style, you gotta reboot your PC. Uh, keep that in mind, I forgot to say that. So, after you've installed this and the ribbon disabler, you gotta launch the HUD setup. And you just gotta click whatever language you got. I got Dutch, but you can also do it in English, whatever. And yet, and then very simply, just follow the steps and. Uh, at a certain moment you come uh, at a sort of page where you gotta select what things you want in your team and what not so what I would definitely recommend is select all of them 
uh, and that will make it look uh, the same as this so I would definitely go for uh, it and select everything um, and when it asks you, you to make a backup definitely go ahead and make a backup of your PC I mean it's not really a backup it's a restore point I'm very sorry for my uh, language I forgot the word for that so if it's gonna ask you to make a restore point definitely go ahead and click yes while it's installing and yeah then uh, it's gonna ask you to reboot your PC just reboot it uh, straight away and when you log in again on your PC it should uh, yeah be it should look like uh, this your PC so or no it shouldn't really look like this way I'm gonna it's like another background you know so here is the theme and the background it should be uh, with this background I forgot to say that but you can change it to this one uh, I like this one more I uh, don't know why I just like it a lot more um, so yeah definitely go ahead and try it uh, remember to first install the UX style uh, don't do this it's not really necessary to do that but and then go ahead to next you're gonna install the ribbon disabler uh, it's very simple just uh, click on here disable uh, ribbon explorer just click on that and it will ask you to lock off your PC and then just log in again and then launch the setup so that's basically quite easy tutorial and it is of course quite easy to install this really awesome theme um, I think it's quite nice for gamers and yeah it, it doesn't really slow down your PC at all it's basically just the same I mean I'm, I'm fine with this PC I like it so yeah if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments below um, I'm sorry I didn't really make a tutorial on how to basically install this or like film it while or record it while I was uh, doing the setup the whole setup for this but um, yeah it's it's really easy just install this then this and then this very easy so I'm gonna shut up now and yeah stop the video or pause the video or, no, stop the video right so anyway uh, I hope you guys learned something today and I hope you guys really enjoy this video um, it's epic really epic uh, theme and if it doesn't show up uh, this theme after you've installed the HUD setup installer or whatever you should go to your configuration and then personal preferences and then search for the HUD evolution over here because it might be on something else but just click on this and then whatever uh, so that's all I basically have for now um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.